Hey guys, and welcome to a little commentary track for the mission holdup in Burton. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the job menu and search for the name of the level, Hold Up in Burton. And one thing I like to do is run this in an invite-only session so that it's faster to load in and out of the, uh, the free mode in between missions to speed up the process of doing this. You won't need body armor for this mission. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. You don't need to worry about getting shot to pieces. And if you do bring body armor, it'll probably get weathered down and you'll lose out on your $485 uh, getting it. So originally with this mission, um, back when I played it on the PS3, all you had to do was um, rescue Juan by killing the guys on the roof in the parking structure, and then he would drive himself back to Madrazo's and uh, hand himself in. And it would take him exactly two minutes to make the journey from the moment you rescued him, so if you waited and took two minutes killing the guys on the roof, you would complete the mission in exactly four minutes, um, leave a buffer of about five seconds, and you would get a guaranteed $10,000 payout each time. They've uh, recently changed this mission so that he no longer drops himself off. You have to uh, meet him at Madrazo's house before the mission will complete. And the reason why I bring up the four minute window is that it's been proven that pound for pound you get the most value out of doing a mission in exactly four minutes as opposed to waiting. Let's say you took 20 minutes and you got 18,000. Well, if you do four minutes and then four minutes, you would get your 20,000 in eight minutes. So what I like to do here is take an explosive and just throw it against these cars. And that gets rid of them sniping you from the side. Make sure your flashlight's on. This allows you to rapidly acquire targets. And just do the old Call of Duty trick. Stop and pop. Let the game sticky your targeting reticle to all the enemies for you. So there you have it. In less than 30 seconds, the rooftop's pretty much cleared. Now you just need to collect some money and some snacks and finish off the last two guys who are shooting at one. Okay, and they're cleared. So that's all it takes. Normally I would have spread this out over two minutes, but since he has to drive himself, they've made this mission a little more challenging. Uh, he won't complete the mission until you meet him there. But if you try to leave right now, you'll be beset by pursuit vehicles. So what you need to do is get rid of them first so that you've got a safe, uh, you get, you, so you get safe passage to Madrazo's place. So run down here to the sidewalk, that's far enough, and then run back up and take some cover. You'll notice in a second that there'll be some red circles appearing on your radar, and that'll indicate that the pursuit vehicles are onto you. They magically know where you are, so there's no point hiding. Something else too is you'll want to stay relatively close to the center of the pillar. If you stick your shoulder out too far to the right, you'll be exposed and they'll be able to hit you from cover. In the old game, this was never an issue, but it's something they've recently added. So just do a quick stop and pop, take the enemies out easy. As you can see, I haven't really lost much health, so there's no point spending 500 on body armor. You'll just have to replace it again the next time you do this mission. Okay. So once these two guys are cleared, there'll be two more vehicles for a total of four. If the vehicles are uh, bothering you, you don't like that they're all crammed there, you can spin the camera around 360 degrees and then the cars will magically vanish. It's something to do with them being temporary assets. So when you're not needing them to be on the screen, that is when you're not looking at them, they go away. Since everybody's crowded in one spot, wait for the last vehicle to get there and then detonate. And now you've wiped out all the pursuit vehicles in a very simple bottleneck. You let them come to you and they're in no longer a threat. So now you just run down to your vehicle of choice and travel safely to Madrazo's place. So the benefit of doing it this way is that you can do it solo. You don't have to wait to get a group together of people to do it. You don't have to worry about anybody getting killed or messing up the mission. You just calmly do it and if you can be disciplined to do it every four minutes or so, you'll get a really high payout. You can make a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand dollars 
in an hour or two hours. It really just depends on how fast you're able to get in and out of these missions. And as I say, the faster you do it, the better. It used to be thought that the longer you waited on a mission, the better your pay it would be. But um, if you wait 20 minutes, you get 18k, maybe even 20. But if you get 10k every four minutes, as I say, it's just overall much better payout. Well, usually when you're within range of Madrazo's house, like here, Juan will typically hand in the mission himself, but he's being stubborn today, so all you have to do is just get his attention and he'll take care of the rest. So now he sees me, he's running in to hand in the mission. So there it is, passed. You get your 15 job points, you get your 10k, a little bit of RP, and I've left this part in in the video just to show you the difference between invite only sessions and playing in regular mode. So there you go, I've hit free mode and in just a couple of seconds it'll bring me back to the open world fresh to do one more run. Thanks for watching!